Well, today uh, it's our factory tour, our open uh, house. So uh, we present our new aircraft and our guests and the prospect uh, coming here and seeing our workshop and uh, our new uh, SAM LS. Where did the name Sam come from? Well, the name Sam is come from uh, our son. Uh, it's called uh, Samuel, so we call the aircraft uh, Sam, and the company is Sam Aircraft. What? In, why are you building this airplane? Well, uh, it began five uh, years ago. I began uh, to do this uh, business. I uh, worked in uh, the finance area, but. Uh, uh, my passion is aviation, so I used to work uh, the weekend and uh, working on kit and uh, flying. So I, I wanted to put uh, aviation in the middle of my life and uh, design this aircraft and uh, we build it and uh, create the company in 2009. Now, why this style of aircraft? Why all metal? Why this? Why does it look the way that it looks? Well, it's a, it's a good question. Uh, we began uh, when we designed this aircraft to uh, have a retro silhouette like uh, the Ryan ST, like the Varga Kachina, like uh, the Chipmunk, but we wanted uh, uh, a modern comfort, modern uh, uh, design and uh, modern engine. So a blend between uh, retro style and uh, scientific innovation. Now, are you looking at bringing this out in a kit form or as a ready-to-fly airplane? What's your future plans for the airplane? Well, our future plan is a kit form and ready-to-fly. So it's going to be amateur built, 51%, uh, here in Canada and in the U.S. And ready-to-fly advanced ultralight aircraft in Canada and uh, LSA uh, in the U.S. Now, if we were to take a kit, what type of a kit is going to be delivered to the customer? What type of uh, areas are you going to need to build it? Uh, what, how long is it going to take them to, to build it? That type of thing. Well, the, the kit, uh, we designed the kit with uh, solid works and uh, everything is uh, CNC, pre punch pre drill pre band so to make it uh, easier for the uh, kit builder. Uh, all the weld is done also at the factory. The protection cage in, in, in steel is pre-welded. Uh, the fuel tank and composite is done, the spar are solid riveted and, uh, and uh, done also at the factory. So it's going to take between 900 to 1000 hours to build the aircraft. Now, if I'm a builder and I'm looking at doing this, is it, what kind of equipment am I going to need to, to take this project on? Well, as we design it with uh, solid works and everything is pretty much and the, the hole are pretty much and uh, it's CNC cut, you don't uh, really need a special jig. Uh, really, the basic uh, instruments uh, you need the uh, Kleco drillers uh, and, uh, and pop uh, riveter, I would think. Pop riveters, uh, that's the, you know, the basic for uh, an aluminum uh, aircraft. Nothing now, fancy. Now, what type of area could I build it in? Could I build it in, say, a two car garage or? You can begin with a two-car garage, but after that you have to put the wings on, so you need more than a two-car garage. But the beginning can be done even in a one-car garage because we are offering sub-kits. So you can begin with an empennage, and the empennage is really in a one-car garage. So when we're talking a complete built airplane uh, from the way you supply it, you mentioned 900 to 1,000 hours. You go into a sub-kit, what type of time is the sub-kit going to save? The sub-kit is uh, not really going to save you any time. It's going to save you a little bit of uh, money if uh, you don't have uh, the, the resource available to purchase a complete kit or you're not sure about it. You can begin with uh, an empennage kit that we sell around $2,600. So you can begin and notice if you like it, if you want to pursue and, uh, and, and, and buy it step by step. and. Uh, build it uh, as far as you uh, you go. Now, when we're building this, do you have any type of a manual or a CD that is going to show the progress of how to do things? Of course, so we are going to have a complete uh, a manual to uh, uh, assist the, the, the builders and we have also an expert here and technician that will be uh, helpful to, to help. Uh, you can also see all the photos of the construction of this uh, aircraft uh, on the Flickr or Picasa, for example, and Kitlog uh, Pro. Now, we've got the airplane built now. What kind of power are we using to, to, uh, to power it? 
This uh, demo aircraft is going uh, is is uh, with a Rotax uh, 912, uh, 100 horsepower, and we recommend 100 horsepower. But you can uh, uh, use uh, uh, an engine from 80 to 130 horsepower. So. Uh, uh, 100 is, is a good size engine. So you're actually going to have it available, for example, for other engines as well? You could have it, for, uh, for example, a Jabiru engine and that? Uh... That's the next step. It's going to be uh, the Jabiru six cylinders, the 130, yes. For now, we propose the engine mount for the Rotax 80 or 100 or the turbocharged uh, 115. Performance are you expecting out of the airplane when you've got the airplane uh, ready to fly? Well, the uh, airplane is a uh, uh, is a versatile aircraft, so uh, we designed it with uh, three different wings: uh, one uh, smaller wing uh, for cross country, one LS wing to have fun and sport the pilot, and uh, a longer wing uh, for short field uh, operation. So. That's the modularity of this aircraft, so you can make it personalized between what you want to have, either cross-country or short field performance. The speed is going to be around 130 miles, uh, and uh, uh, the stall speed of the LS is going to be 42 miles with uh, the flaps. So when you look at control systems on the airplane, you're using standard stick and rudder type of controls? Yes, uh, it's a standard, it's a dual controls. Uh, it's push-pull for the aileron, push-pull for the elevator, and there is only a cable for the rudder. And how are the flaps activated? The flaps, I have a, uh, an engine for the flaps, and it's a, a steel tube that uh, moves the flaps down. Now looking at the airplane behind you and looking at the picture on the wall, there's no canopy on this one, but you are going to have a sliding canopy on it. A canopy on it. Yes, well. there will be a, a canopy, and uh, uh, we can uh, take out the canopy uh, to fly open, uh, open, uh, open air. So uh, you can fly with closed canopy or open canopy, and this is uh, uh, open canopy. Now this airplane, with the type of landing gear and everything that's got on it, looks like it'd make a good trainer too. It's uh, very uh, durable and uh, we make uh, the, the landing gear uh, for the, the bigger wing version so it can land, land uh, on the unprepared field. And it's very robust 4130 uh, uh, steel with uh, two benches. So how far along are you in the process of getting the airplane to the flight testing uh, program? Yeah, uh, yesterday we turned the engine and we made uh, the first uh, taxi uh, yesterday. So uh, uh, January will be uh, all the flight test uh, and uh, we will launch production uh, early uh, 2013 with uh, the Zebring uh, air show in Florida. So you're ahead, we're again in the December now of 2012, so you're going to Zebring? Yes. And then you're going to Sun and Fun after that as well? Exactly, and after that Oshkosh, so the, 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 the big shows. So if somebody wants to see this airplane uh, they, and they're attending one of those shows, they, you'll be there? Yep. And if somebody wanted to come and see the airplane, now what's your address here? Well, uh, we are located in uh, Canada, uh, near uh, Montreal, a uh, one hour drive from Montreal in uh, the airport of uh, La Chute, uh, Quebec. So our address is 100 Boulevard Bradford uh, in La Chute and uh, our website is uh, www.sameaircraft.com. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Dave.